thank you for making Good Day a part of this Wednesday morning. So, Diane, this is a segment for you because we're <laughs> going to uh, really get busy when it comes to science. I know. We haven't even started the experiment, but I'm already like, okay, how can I duplicate this? How can I do it at She's home? She's looking at it. Going, I'm already thinking about it. Yeah, so our extreme scientist, Jeff Lovewell from the Imagination Station, is with us this morning with some props which means we're going to do some sort of experiment, I'm guessing. Um, yes, I heard that you guys are excited about the eclipse coming yes. in 2024. Yes, yes. Right. already yeah. planning. Uh, yeah. Less than a year away. You, you should be planning. <laughs> as crazy as it sounds, we are going to have a, a ton of people storming our area. Right. If you look at the eclipse maps and everything like that, Toledo's kind of like the first major stop if you're anywhere north of where the eclipse okay. is going to be. So if you're in Ann Arbor, Detroit, and you're like, oh, maybe we'll drive down to see the eclipse, guess where you're heading? You're coming to Toledo. Toledo. Toledo, right? You're coming <laughs> yeah. right down 75. Mm -hmm. If you're in Canada, you know, anywhere, in, you yeah. know what I mean? It, like, you're, like this is the place to be. Yes. Mm -hmm. So um, it's really cool. So we got to get ready. We got to get ready. <laughs> um, so I have this um, thing that we use uh, to teach kids about gravity because okay. really all, the whole eclipse is just about different objects orbiting around, you know, in our solar system. It's okay. all about gravity. And you guys have, may have heard like about Albert Einstein before, right? We've heard um, of him. Oh, yeah. that guy. Yeah, yeah. He, <laughs> I know about science. Um, you know, he had this cool theory of general relativity, which mm -hmm. basically said that you can think of um, gravity mm -hmm. as warping space. Oh, um, okay. So you know we have objects that orbit other objects, and I'll give you I'll give you guys some marbles here if you yeah. want to try oh, yeah. and Play a little bit. get them to <laughs> orbit. So um, this big ball bearing thing I yeah, have in the middle. Yeah, you put something in the middle. That is going to be our sun. Okay. So you can see it's so heavy mm -hmm. that um, it actually warps the space around it. Right. And so the idea of stuff orbiting around it due to its gravity is actually caused by that space being warped. So if you just kind of want to toss it, toss them in a little bit at an angle. Yeah, I know sometimes they bounce out. It's okay. And you can see this represents kind of like our solar system. Yeah, let them go all over the place. <laughs> Your yeah, camera crew will appreciate slipping on those later. <laughs> um, Th this kind of represents all the different planets um, orbiting our solar system. I think I kept all of mine in there, by the way. Yeah, you did pretty I good. You, you did, did pretty good. good. Job, man. Yeah, I lost a few. <laughs> and this is a great way to kind of like talk about how our solar system forms. So one thing I like to do with kids is um, I say like, oh, at the beginning, our, our solar system kind of just was randomly okay. going in one direction, but then eventually they even out and you see one orbit ended up forming, which is the path that the planets take today. Okay. Cool. Um, so really, really cool stuff that you can do. And I, I, I try to get this. Oops, I dropped my Earth. Sorry. Don't, <laughs> don't drop um, Earth. This is, this is uh, funnily enough, kids don't. This is the uh, ball from a mouse. Do you guys remember oh, when yes. mice had when, actual? When they had them. Um, Diane doesn't remember. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so um, this will bend Give her space a, a little bit as well. And so it's a little tough to get it on this small one here. But you can get like kind of the moon orbiting oh. the Earth. Oh. Right. Look at that. And then the Earth orbiting the Sun, but unfortunately my my solar system is a little tiny <laughs> <laughs> to show it. But this is kind of what ends up getting you the eclipse, right? So if um, I have, maybe I'll, I'll grab some bigger ones for the purposes of, if I have my Earth, Okay. I'm trying to get it on camera here. And then this is way too big for my moon. And my moon here, <laughs> what we're doing is we are watching the moon cross the path between the sun and Earth. And it's going to cast a shadow mm -hmm. onto it. Um, and that's going to be our eclipse. Okay. Uh, I actually had some videos sent out that kind of yeah. the scale at which we're talking about on this, it's always so like comically small. Mm -hmm. um, so I, I sent over, these are actually visualizations from NASA themselves oh, that nice. they send out. You can see in outer space, the, the moon and Earth are extremely far apart from one another. Right. And so that shadow just barely peaks hitting um, the, the but, shadow ends up hitting the Earth at a very precise point. And I know I had a second video as well that I sent. I'm not sure if you guys got both. But um, a lot of people ask, why doesn't this happen every month, right? The moon orbits every right. single month. Um, but you'll actually notice in this one as it zooms in that the moon isn't perfectly in plane with the Earth. So oftentimes you can see it misses, oh, right? Wow. So there's just a slight like five degree angle. Mm -hmm. And so it happens to be on April 8th, 2024, we're going to hit it just right where it's in plane, it's in the right alignment with the sun and the Earth. And it's a very, very rare situation. Um, in any particular spot on Earth. How do we know that we're going to have this happen on April? What is it again? April, April 8th, 8th, 2024, yeah. 1.57 p.m. How do we know, do we know this map? Uh, well, what's really great is, uh, you know, this all seems complicated with, like, space-time being warped, mm -hmm. but it's actually, like, really simple, like, 
Newtonian math, like Isaac Newton <laughs> back in okay. the day could yeah. have calculated it. Um, really? Yeah, there's old stories of, you know, um, Europeans being able to calculate this and then fooling um, like the colonies that they were co colonizing because they were able to figure out the math really far ahead of time. It's <laughs> not as complicated okay. as you think. Um, it's uh, I, honestly predicting the weather is harder. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There, there, there's, there, I'll shout out there. Yeah, there's, there's, a, there's an old <laughs> physics joke that it's easier to know um, what happened a few moments after the Big Bang than what's going to happen a few moments in the weather. Like, because it's just so <laughs> mm -hmm. much more um, complicated. Like, uh, it's complicated. Yeah. Yeah. So and Jeff, cool why do you think it's so uh, important to uh, explain this to the young people in a way <laughs> like this so they can understand it. Um, and us too. <laughs> right. Well, I, I actually went and I traveled to see the 2017 eclipse, mm -hmm. which didn't come through this area. Mm -hmm. I got in my car for eight hours, slept on the side of the road. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, I did. I did the full gamut, which expect people to come here yes, and do that. So, yes. Um, and it was really like an awe-inspiring moment for me um, of kind of having for the first time. I don't think we really think about like the moon is an object out there, mm -hmm. the sun is an. Mm -hmm. Object. We're on a planet mm -hmm. going mm -hmm. through space, like those, you know, those <laughs> visuals crazy. that we saw. And it's probably the first time I had a hands-on experience with like our solar system. Yeah. Um, and so I think if we can tap into that, you know, that's going to happen for everyone. This is a day that people don't realize they're going to tell their grandchildren about. Mm -hmm. um, so we should tap into some science knowledge and tap into like that excitement of you know all of us being on a planet together. It yeah. is pretty and cool. Speaking Very of tapping cool. into that science and knowledge, um, I assume that there's going to be a lot of science going on at the Imagination Station yes. leading up to this? Yes. So um, we have, uh, I mean, you can go to our website right now. It's Eclipse Fest. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, we have festivals that you can book if you're like a teacher or a librarian or something mm -hmm. like that. We have workshops that um, you can you can book online that are specific to that. We have a portable planetarium where we can take out and blow up something that would take up maybe the size of the studio cool. here <laughs> and Let's crawl in yeah. and um, <laughs> see. Uh, it doesn't show up well on camera, though. <laughs> Just be dark. We'll all be going ooh and ah, but like, um, <laughs> It'll look dark to the audience at home. Um, but uh, yeah, we'll have a portable planetarium. And then we are currently working on kind of like a professional development science ambassador program. You, you know, so I think you can like sign up for an email list right now while okay. we, yeah, while so we kind of work on it. You want to yeah. be in the know. You don't yes. want to miss anything. Yes. Very good. You know, well, and get your glasses, obviously, yes. as well. Absolutely. Can't look directly. Yes, yes, very good. Ah, yes. Jeff, so. thanks for getting us excited, getting us yeah. ready, yeah, explaining sure. it, because, yeah. you know, this, these things right. go for my But it's, it's simple I, math, remember that. Not like the weather. Though. Like <laughs> Don't ask me to predict the weather. This is easy. <laughs> okay, yeah, this is simple stuff. Okay, moon, Earth, sun. It's fun stuff, though. Very interesting. Thanks Thank for coming you. today. Appreciate it.